Well, state environmentalists are testing private wells around the former Square D plant in Asheville. They want to know if the water around the inactive hazardous waste site could be contaminated with toxic chemicals. News 13's Frank Faboni has more on this developing story. Frank, how long has this been going on? Well, Larry, it started a few weeks ago with a survey to find out if any homes around the site are still using wells. So far, they've discovered five homes, four of which are now being tested for harmful organic compounds, including a toxic solvent known as TCE. The old Square D site, now used by several other companies, remains on the state's list of inactive hazardous waste sites. State environmental officials are looking into the extent of the contamination, conducting vapor testing, and searching for homeowners nearby on private wells. I was in maintenance. Ronnie Austin is a former Square D employee and lives close by. He says Square D was extremely careful in its manufacturing. We was very clean with what we had done, and they stayed on top of us all the time. A spokeswoman for the Department of Environmental and Natural Resources in an email says they're looking for volatile organic compounds, including TCE, trichloroethylene, a substance known to cause cancer. State officials have been reevaluating the toxic site after Buncombe County Schools announced plans to build a STEM high school at their headquarters across the road. School officials say tests show no contamination on their property. However, testing did reveal trace amounts of contaminants in the maintenance area on only one occasion and well below safe levels. Buncombe Schools has agreed to retest semi-annually for the next four years. That had been back in the 50s. Austin, a lifelong resident here, says what most people don't know is that another manufacturer operated at this site. Gorham silverware plant. He says the company made silverware for the dinner table at the plant before Square D took over the site in the 1960s. Back in them days, there may not have been any restrictions. I don't know. But I know for a fact that when we came there, we was not allowed to set no drums, barrels, and nothing outside that plant. Environmentalists say it does not have any test results yet. The Diener does not from any of the sampled wells, but soil vapor testing for TEC, or TCE rather, was done beneath the Square D slab in December. The company has now asked for more time before reporting the results. To get a better understanding, they say, from experts of the factors that might affect the results and to repeat the sampling. Workers from the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs that work in that building say they're anxious to hear about the final results, but say they believe these are routine tests conducted since 1990.